Uh, I am fascinated by wood as a material, and, and I think it can be really uh, experienced by many uh, different aspects. If I am talking about this in my classroom, usually I will uh, give students to hold these two balls. When they are holding them, sometimes I tell them even closing their eyes. Uh, one feels cold and heavy, and maybe a little bit, uh, uh, it gives you a feeling, uh, don't stay with me too long. Other one is warm and fuzzy, and it's just very inviting, and it will tell you, uh, probably I would like to hold on a little bit longer. Many musical instruments are produced from wood, and it is just because wood is having wonderful resonance uh, properties. Uh, not every species will have a, a very good uh, resonance properties, but it is uh, based on the uh, composition of uh, growth rings, uh, how tightly they are together, how fast or maybe how slow a uh, certain species of, of wood will grow. So wood smells really nice. This is uh, cinnamon bark, uh, but it can be also different wood species. And of course, wood tastes good. Uh, that's why we are using uh, several species of oak, uh, white oak, uh, for making uh, barrels uh, for aging wine. By observing wood, I think you can engage all your five senses. Uh, when you touch it, it feels very pleasant uh, compared to other materials. It's just more inviting. You feel like you don't want to leave. You feel that you are just very comfortable. At least I feel that way. Uh, when you are looking at it, it's just usually very subtle. It's not shouting. It's just so pleasing to your eyes. And then you feel that you are right in the middle of the nature. Uh, I think that you can always be surprised by this material. You can always find something different. Uh, it, it, it can be species. It can be properties. It's so versatile. It can be weak, it can be strong, it can be bendable, it can do all kinds of things. And then I think that uh, just that tactile properties, that feel and touch, it's really something special that I just cherish.